Last week, having been International Women's Day or International Ladies' Day, as I like to think of it, a day when we buy our ladies luxury chocolates and flowers and tell them to take the bloody day off doing the washing up for crying out loud. She'll come back. They always come back. I thought it would be appropriate to look at the Wedding Channel's stunning original programme, Brides on a Bus, a show with huge thematic similarities to The Wire. How so? Well, I'll explain. Brides on a Bus is a show that features a family of singing pine martins who live on a life raft off the coast of Somali. Oh, no, wait, no, sorry. Uh, it's about a busload of brides who are all competing to win what the Wedding Channel's website describes as the wedding of a lifetime. Uh, now, call me old-fashioned, but I thought any wedding was supposed to be the wedding of a lifetime. Bride Come and get your tickets to ride. This show, uh, although going out in prime time now, was originally filmed in 2010 and is hosted by David Van Day, formerly of Bucks Fizz and then I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. And Brides on a Bus has certainly propelled him to mega stardom in the last couple of years, hasn't it? You gonna cry today? You are. Uh, he was a huge star in Pop Combo Dollar in the 80s, okay? And Van Day recaptured the nation's hearts in 2008 in I'm a Celebrity with his whining, sniveling, scheming, selfish manipulative ways. <laughs> yes, I've got, to, I've got a bone to pick with you about this, all of them, yeah. But to those of us more sophisticated and analytical readers of the televisual text of Celebrity, uh, this was surely just an act, and Van Day was a nice guy just playing a role, uh, until he dumped his girlfriend unceremoniously on air on the right stuff, to the shock and dismay of almost no one, uh, least of all his girlfriend, I suspect. Sue, because you'll be watching this, Sue, I've had enough. You've been dumped. David, oh. live on air, David. on TV, oh. celebrity. Dumping. What, yeah, dump. Van Day resurfaced for about 0.5 of a second on Pineapple Dance Studios, coaching Andrew Stone, with whom I am fascinated in pop stardom. We'll leave talking about Andrew for another time. But wowzers, just watch this. It's like a modern day rat king. Rat pack, sorry. I said, some before you involuntarily start attempting to perforate your own eardrums. Anyway, this hopeless romantic David Van Day was chosen to front brides on a bus and escort the lovely ladies around Britain as they frantically spin out three or four minute long challenges to fill three quarters of an hour. Now with only one place remaining and two brides left, will it be Mel? Mm, no, I don't think it will. Uh, each show begins though with us spending what seems like forever still saying goodbye to the contestant who crashed out in the previous episode, which is sort of like going to the toilet and finding it unflushed. Coming up on today's episode, the brides say goodbye to Claire P. David looks after his passengers extremely well, eschewing the Les Dennis hand on both shoulders contestant grip and instead favouring the hand nestling right on the midpoint of the ribs, just where the tissue is softening for the breast. Lovely. That's great. Would you like to see what's in there? What I find tragic, apart from David Van Day, is watching these women genuinely gutted to leave, crying and sad because they're missing out on having their all expenses paid wedding. It's the wedding channel. They're filming it on VHSC, as far as I can tell. It's not going to be the wedding of a lifetime, unless you're talking about the lifetime of a midge. It's been a once in a lifetime opportunity. Here's where it's like the wire. Oh, good. Well, we wondered when you were going to get onto that, Jake. Yeah, well, yes, all right. Let me just finish having this conversation with myself and I'll tell you. Jesus Christ, are you still doing that? that what? I'm uncomfortable with referring to myself in the third person, okay? Fine, I bet you bloody are. Good. Glad we cleared that up. The Wire, essentially, albeit through the medium of drama, documents the lives of people who are fighting over their territory in the Baltimore ghetto. It's territory which is literally worthless when you look at it objectively. It's a shithole, and yet they're prepared to kill or be killed for it. Brides on a Bus is about the same principle. They're fighting and competing with each other for something that is of absolutely nominal value. If you love someone and you want to get married, marry them. It doesn't matter how or where, you'll have a marvellous time. Your marriage won't be any better because your wedding is good. We'll never have enough money, so it's just one of those things. After the break, we'll look at more women fighting over something worthless in Take Me Out. Women with low self-esteem, are you ready for a new scandal? Well, here at Laboratorni Sadistov, we've got just the thing to feed that nagging sense that you're not up to scratch, with a model saying meaningless phrases like the bolder the better, which, along with similarly vacuous phrases like this means trouble, have shown in focus groups to be 92% effective in making you feel inadequate. Remember, ladies, you're inherently disgusting, and ordinary women like you who could be comfortable in their own skin should feel guilty for simply not being attractive enough. This is usually the subtext 
Deck. So enjoy the pretty pictures while we dish out some ghastly strapline like Get the London Look, which of course includes Catford. And even though you thought the advert had ended, watch this weird little 10 second add-on at the end for some vaguely related product or offer. In stores now. Take Me Out is a remarkable program in that I managed to, to hate the host before I'd even seen him. Just his silhouette on the opening titles leaves me praying that global warming will hurry up and engulf humanity. At Tesco Value, Vernon K, Paddy McGuinness's job is to wheel out individual blokes, apparently at first, for the scrutiny of a bunch of 30 women who decide whether or not they would. Uh, so far, so girl power. As they opt out by switching off their lights, no likey, no lighty, as Paddy would say, no say that ever again. No amateur castration with a spoon by me, Paddy. Our bloke is left with the choice of the remaining up for it contestants. I could make cheap swipes about Paddy's ridiculous 8mm fringe, or his slightly satanic eyebrows, or how he looks like he's about to burst into tears when he talks to the camera, or the funny novelty freak boys they find to inject a bit of fun into the rounds before condemning them to a lifetime of having Coke cans buzzed at them by school kids on their way home, accompanied by jeers of, hey, take me out! Ah! Or the fact that the dates all happen on the Isle of Fernando's, a cross between Magaluf and Nando's. But I think there's something more sinister here. It's not about girl power or empowering women at all. It's about 30 women with low self-esteem who seem to think that they've got to vie for the attention of any possibly decent bloke by making themselves look like a rubber dolly or whooping for attention or simply basically saying they're easy. You said you want to just have fun and I just want to have fun too, so that's fine. Some of them even take themselves out of the equation rather than face rejection down the line. Why did you turn your light off? You look too intelligent for me. Yeah, I don't like it when he hits me. It shows he cares. Uh, and don't forget, although we pretend the women are making a choice here, the final decision belongs to the man. Just as International Women's Day, for all its good intentions, still feels like a faintly condescending nod from a patriarchal establishment. Remember, ladies, no likey, no lighty. It's still an arranged marriage. And so finally we realise the origin of the programme's title. Take me out is the phrase that forms on a lot of viewers' lips as the show on. Unfurls. I pray to God a hitman will come and take me out soon. Uh, I try, try to review something good next time, I promise. But I leave you with this little endurance test. Good luck. Together, let's take a magical ride. Take that magical the ride. Time is a ride. If you take things too seriously, and we are all sensitive and emotional performers, then um, you get to a stage where, you know, you don't enjoy it anymore and everything affects you and that's the road to madness. Take a magical ride, take a magical ride, Ooh, take that magical ride, yeah. Boom.